Okay, so today we are working on this 2015 LML Duramax. Um, we actually just put a motor in this, the motor dropped the cylinder. But what I want to do is show a quick, real easy way to replace the starter in these trucks. Now, if you've ever tried to do this, it looks like you have plenty of room, but you don't. Um, the starter obviously is sitting right back in here. It's kind of hard to, to show here. Um, there's a hole right down through the bottom here where that starter has to come out. It will not fit without doing a little bit of adjusting. Um, obviously, you got to take your exhaust off, um, just loosen this up, and that'll you'll be able to weasel that far enough out of the way. Uh, but the starter with the, the solenoid and everything built into it will not fit out through that hole. So I've seen where people cut this bracket here off to make room. You can do that. It's kind of a pain to get in there to cut. Um, there's a lot easier way. Now there's two wires going to your starter. You got a trigger wire and a battery wire. They're right up in there. I don't know if you can see or not. It's kind of hard to get in there. It's real tight. And then there's two bolts. There's one here and one here. The bolts are just a, a 15 millimeter bolt. Um, and then your starter will be loose, but it will not fit out through that hole down bottom. Even though it looks like it will, you cannot get it through there. So what I figured out to do, easiest way to do it, is to loosen the motor mount or take the motor mount off and pick the motor up and it'll drop right out. And that is really simple. There are this motor mount right here. There's one, two, three bolts in it. They're just a 15 millimeter bolt and it sits right on top of the frame so it cannot fall, it cannot do anything and you really don't even have to loosen the other side. But if you take them three bolts out, then all you need to do is get underneath it with a floor jack on this one side of the the motor or the transmission here i used a floor jack and a piece of wood and i was able to pick this side of the motor up i don't know an inch and a half or two inches something like that it just rocks the motor over to the the driver's side and then i was able to to drop the starter out weasel it down through there no problem it gave me all kinds of room to do so and then obviously you put your new starter back up in and it actually gives you a little bit more room as long as you have it blocked up good so it can't fall on you it gives you more room inside here to get to your starter to tighten everything up to put that back in place and then you just let your floor jack down and them three bolts line themselves right back up and drop right back into place tighten them up and you're good to go it's a lot easier than cutting and pulling everything else out of the way to uh try to get that starter in there just makes it a little bit easier a little trick i learned and hope it helps somebody out